Welcome to the tutorial video on getting started with Publish in Pyramid. In this video, we will explore the Publish tool by reviewing the workspace. Then we will create a publication, add text and content, use slicers to dynamically filter the results of the queries in the content, then save and schedule our report. Publications allow authors to create one report and deliver it on a dynamic, secure basis. To get started, we click Publish from the home screen. We will select a theme to define the look and feel of the report. We are going to choose the custom theme called Acme Standard. Then we will make sure our orientation and size match our needs. Then click Create. We are launched into our publication canvas. Let's review a few important areas. First of all, the ribbon. This area contains the tabs, tools, and features we need to design our report. The content panel gives us access to the content we built in Discover and Illustrate. Finally, we have the preview panel where we can create a cover page, content pages, and see thumbnail views of the report pages contained in this file. To get started, we'll design our cover page. We will click on the page next to cover. When properly selected, the gray area around the publication canvas turns blue. Then we will add grid lines to help us position content and assets appropriately. To enable grid lines on the ribbon, select Home, then Grid. Now we will choose the text box from the Canvas menu and add a title and subtitle. We can highlight the text and format as needed using the options in the Text tab of the ribbon. To resize the text box, click away from the text box and select it again. Drag and drop the edges of the boxes as needed. We can add more boxes for additional textual information or for an abstract that provides context to the report reader. Next, we will add some corporate branding by placing our corporate logo at the top. We can simply drag and drop images from our desktop onto our report canvas. We can resize as needed by holding the shift key and adjusting the canvas nodes. Like the cover page, we will create a template of our content page. Now that we have designed the title and content pages, we will check them both to add to our report. The goal of our example is to deliver a regular report on manufacturers. We want to add content that can be dynamically filtered to a single manufacturer. We'll add a title and then combine text with content that we created in Discover and Illustrate. On the first content page, let's begin by adding in some text into the body of our report. When we're finished, we'll position as desired. Then we'll continue to add more text boxes into our report until we are finished. Now we are ready to add Discover content that provides context to our text. From the content panel, we will expand our content folders and select the content we need. For this example, I am looking for the sales discoveries that I created previously. From our organized folder structure, we can see the various reports available to us. I will select the ones I need, drag and drop, position and resize as needed, holding down the shift key as I resize to maintain the proper aspect ratio. We will continue to add content pages with text and discoveries as needed. To add new pages, we simply right-click in the preview panel to add a page, or from the Home tab in the ribbon, select New. Now, we want to include dynamic text designed to automatically adjust when the report is generated. To add dynamic text, simply navigate to the text, delete it, then from the Text tab, select Dynamic Text. Navigate the content system, locate the desired label or data, select it, format it, click Test, then click Apply. When properly constructed, the dynamic text will be highlighted green. Continue to add dynamic text as needed. Now we want to include some report slicers to filter our dynamic text and our views. This is a sales analysis by manufacturer, so we need to add a slicer for manufacturer to filter the results of our chart and grid queries. When this publication is processed for distribution, we can have a unique report for each slice or combination of slicer items. To add slicers, make sure you are on a page of the report populated with the content you want to slice. From the content panel, navigate to the desired slicer and drag and drop it onto the canvas. The interaction manager will pop up displaying your slicer options. The green dot indicates that an interaction can be assigned. Select the desired interactions for the content. You can choose individually or in mass. When finished, simply minimize the interaction manager. When we are satisfied with our results, we will save to the content management system. Click on the Publication tab, choose Save, select the desired storage location, key in a title, and click Save. 
Now we are ready to schedule the publication. To schedule our publication, we navigate back to the publication in edit mode. From the report tab, select schedule. This brings up the scheduling panel. Here, create the new schedule. Expand job details to name the schedule and select an output. I'm going to select PDF for my report. From there, we can expand the selections panel to enabled selections. This will slice our report by selection. Next, we will expand the schedule menu and determine the frequency of our report and the start date. For this report, we will select it to run every quarter. We can also select which role we want this publication to be distributed to. For this example, we'll select Training. Then we'll click Save in the top right. Now the schedule is ready to run. We can see the run publication by navigating to the Content Explorer, right-clicking the Object menu, and selecting Schedule. Here we see all of the schedules associated with our content. We can edit the schedule with the pencil or delete the schedule with the X. We can click on the name of the publication to bring up the details. By expanding the Job Execution button, we can access the report. We can also see a list of publications by clicking on the button icon at the top of the screen. Here we see today's rendered publications. In this video, we created a new publication, added text and content, saved, and scheduled our report. This concludes the tutorial on creating publications in Pyramid.